I'm making my totem for Shambhala. <laughs> Kitchen fan. I'm making my first totem ever for Shambhala. 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 2019. What's up? Check it out. Here I am at the Jpo Licious and Connor Licious headquarters. Making totems, making breakfast. You know what is up. Hey, hey everyone. I'm using an exacto knife to cut out the photo. Do you understand the reference? This is what I'm doing to like smooth out the edges. I'm taping it with black duct tape. So this is the H. Four to six days later. Jessica and Connor reporting to you live. I've cut out all the letters of the hay. According to Connor, the Y didn't look like a Y before. <laughs> so I used a piece that I cut before and then I super glued it on to make the Y more prominent. Mm. So now it clearly says hay. Making a totem is like adult arts and crafts. Put the knife in the middle and start twisting? Yeah. I'm trying to cut the ex the whole of the exclamation mark. It's difficult. Sweet. Did you see that? It popped it out. There it is. Mm. I think it looks too small. I think what you could do is cut the rest of that out. Like cut that bridge and then just make the whole the circle bigger down below. Did that just turn on? No, you just looked up for the first time. I keep dropping the scissors. Maybe put them in a different place. Okay. Jessica. Several days later. Hey team, I'm just making my totem. I bought a smaller. Exacto knife because there was maybe that's the high ground. Okay, Connor, I'm filming a video. I had to buy a smaller exacto knife because the letters down here are hard to cut. This is how far I've come. I'm beginning to think that the duct tape around the letters is unnecessary. Later. Round 85 of creating my totem. It is July 14th. I just need to finish taping up the exclamation mark and maybe the wings and then I'll glue the sides on. Moments later. Totem adventures with Jessica and Connor. I need to figure out how to glue on the LED or tape on the LED lights so that I can glue the bottom of the bar of the box part on and figure out where to leave a hole so the battery pack can come out. the back before I spray paint it. I bought some spray paint and some painter's tape to do a design on the back. I'm going to figure out how to attach velcro straps onto the backing so that I can velcro it on and off of the pole, which is right here. 
This is a bamboo stick that I bought at the dollar store for $2.50. Let's do this. And now we spray paint. The next day. And now we spray paint the pole. Everything is all dried after staying outside overnight. The inside of the front is white and then the other side is completely black. For maximum reflectability. Now we just gotta glue on the lights glue and tape on the light, do the uh, design on the gold thing, and then tape the back to the front, and then spray paint the whole thing black and it's done. Okay, I'm gonna spray paint the whole thing black and then I'll peel off the green tape. The final reveal, peeling off the, the painter's tape to reveal what's underneath and then putting it on the pole and then lighting it up. 